help. Yes, I come bangs. And yes, I'm leaving Tokyo today. Cool. Bye, Japan. Again. Los Angeles. Okay, so I've been home for like 20 minutes or something, and I don't really feel like vlogging because I feel like potato. Because I feel like death right now, and I just want to take a nap. But I'm washing my sheets for this bed because I had someone renting out this room while I was gone. That's how I was able to leave. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to afford it. But I don't know what happened in this bed, and I'm very skeptical about it. So <laughs> I need to wash my sheets. I bleached them and I'm gonna put it on here. I'm so out of focus right now. I haven't slept for so long. The cultural difference after being away for like four, three or four months in like Asian countries, mostly Japan, and then other non English speaking countries, is that, I mean, there's big differences. So there's gonna be, I have, I'm gonna have some culture stuff, but it's gonna like last a day and then I'll be back to normal. But like, I went to go open the fridge just to like look at it. I'm like, this fridge is huge! Like, what the fuck, America? You're, our fridges are huge! In the Uber ride, the Uber driver. He just, like, thought it was... Why? I don't understand with people, like, it's nice sometimes whenever you don't speak the language because people can't talk your ear off, but I don't understand, like, if you, you can tell that someone doesn't probably doesn't feel like talking after, like, you told them you just came back from Tokyo and then the whole Uber ride, he's just talking and talking. I have no idea what he's even talking about. It's just like, you think that you wouldn't need to talk so much because you drive so many people and you probably talk to so many people. Like what I made it seem like in this video is not how it actually is like to travel. It's, I have been traveling for like the past day, days, but what's today? Today's Sunday still. Okay, so Tokyo is 16 hours ahead. So it's a whole day ahead. So I didn't even change days when traveling, but I've been traveling for so long. And I see the things I appreciate. And I have like a whole closet full of clothes. I'm like, I've been wearing the same clothes for the past four months. And I'm so happy to like change into different clothes. <laughs> My roommates aren't home. Me and Haptic 404 spent so much time together like, 24 7 and now I'm just completely alone in my country I, I'm gonna explain to you why I'm actually back in America I guess I haven't touched on that yet but I just wanted to tell you the culture shock slash cultural differences I don't know who I am anymore total total life change in one day it's like this huge apartment <laughs> so big compared to like all the places in Japan I'm gonna reset my room up because it looks weird. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, so it's then. it's the next morning now, and I just got a bunch of groceries. I was so overwhelmed in the grocery store. There's so much option. And Joey wants some attention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And deny. Sleepy deny. Yeah. So look at all the stuff I got. I'm so excited. Like what? Like look. This is organic protein bar mix. No, you're fine, go on. Okay, so I'm going to do a little Lilo type of shoot thing. I don't know. Shout out to Ariel. Chloe. Beautiful. No, like she closes it and then she says, like it says boom, and then yeah. And there you go. Yeah. And then she says, dude. Oh. Uh, yeah, get. Oh no, she says, 
Jeez. So we were, we, were, we were trying to recreate some scenes, but that's too hard, so we're just gonna like freestyle it. I'm just gonna go run out side with this. I know this vlog is a little all over the place, and it's very unstructured, but that's how I live my life. America, yes, here I am. Ooh, I've been here for a while. I haven't been filming. I've been kind of working on my personal training certificate. I've been figuring out living situation stuff. I've been trying to get sponsorships, trying to make money, because it's gonna cost a lot to go back to Tokyo. The reason that I'm here is because I have an apartment here still. And I have to move out in like two weeks, move everything out, get rid of everything that I have, and earn enough, enough money to go back to Tokyo. This is an adventure in itself because I have quite a bit of stuff. I came to Los Angeles like two or three years ago, two suitcases, that's all I had. Now I have all of this, which it doesn't, like I have to get rid of all of this. I have to sell everything and move out in like two weeks and then earn enough money to buy a plane ticket to go back to Tokyo. So that's the reason why I am in America now, which is maybe random, but yes, I had to come back because my lease is up. After that, I'll have nowhere to live again. It's the story of my life. It's the story of my life. It's all right, we, we continue to open new chapters and keep on keeping on. And that's how we do it here. My last chapter of traveling was pretty chaotic, pretty stressful financially unstable. What I want to do now is get my own place. I was staying with Haptic and I need my own space so I need to go back and get my own space. I have a, a few vlogs coming up that I'm going to do here but then I'm just going to go back to Tokyo we're going to have some more adventures of traveling. I have to sell everything and kind of get rid of my life here in Los Angeles. Because I can't afford to live here and my roommates and I are splitting up. <laughs> my best friends. <laughs> and uh... This is the way that life goes. I mean, nothing's ever consistent in life. Maybe it's a little bit more consistent, consistently for other people, but my life's kind of uh, like this a lot because I like to move around. And it gets very, very, very stressful. But my headspace is getting better. I'm now used to being back in America. There's a lot of things I missed. I missed that the sun is still up, or it's still light out, and it's like seven to eight o'clock. That's amazing, the day seems much longer. Uh, I missed the gyms, the food, the space. Didn't miss the people. There's been a lot of weird experiences that I've had since I've been back. Someone left a note on my door. I'm like, that's and that's like too far. That's not okay. Like, don't, please don't do that. If you're watching this, please don't do that. People have been like, you're Lilo, you're Lilo. Everywhere, online, on my Instagram, in person. People stop and get pictures with me. I'm not Lilo, Lilo guys. I'm not the fifth element. Okay, fine, I'll be the fifth element. I didn't intend that. I watched the movie right before I left. I didn't, like, because people kept comparing me to her after I cut my dreadlocks. And then I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna cut back because it seems like it would go better with this hairstyle, which I think it did. But now I, apparently I look just like the fifth element girl. So. To conclude this vlog, to satiate you guys, I'm going to dress up because I got a costume a long time ago for free from a costume site. I didn't like I didn't know who she was, but I liked the idea of the costume because people had said I'd look like her before I even like cut my dreads. So I never wore it, I never tried it on because I, I didn't want to be a poser, I didn't want to like, but I have it in my closet. Um, so I'm just gonna put that one on. The the other video I did I I put something together for um, that quick fifth element video, but all right, let me go look for this costume. <laughs> I remember another reason I had didn't wear this costume because it's super unflattering. Like I don't think this would flatter anybody's body, but here I am making a fool of myself for you guys. This is the second outfit of Lila from the fifth element. Don't ask me to do it again. You saw it here. I'll probably do it again. <laughs> I mean, I might as well play into it. Multi-pass, multi-pass. I had lost the, it came with a multi-pass and I lost it. I don't know where it could have gone. <laughs> it's happy. Does this make you happy? It kind of makes me happy. It's kind of fun. Would definitely not wear it out and about. Help. <laughs> Keep a watch out of how my adventures unfold. The next video, I'm gonna dress up as a Japanese schoolgirl for the next video. All right, stay extraterrestrial. 
don't forget your multi-pass and I'll see